uh, I'll be continuing um, from where I left off the last time um, we have a login page which has been um, harder to um, our login uh, page <laughs> I'm rambling anyway so um, for for us to enable user to register themselves without us going to the back end to remember the back end of this which is ASP.NET uh, configuration uh, can you see we have one user and um, uh, let's view the user we have the user the one that we create uh, I'm going to explain the roles and the access rules in the future but uh, we can manage the user we have which is the username we can delete sorry we can edit delete or edit the roles or we can create simply create a new user but instead of creating a new user from <coughs> this place we're going to be creating a new user from um, just click on the application tab so uh, you can create application settings every time you create application settings you actually modify the web.com web.config file uh, you can configure your SMTP email settings. You know, if you want to send email, you can take your application offline. You know, so that uh, you can work on it without being visible to people on the internet. Uh, you can configure debugging and tracing. You can define default error pages. You know, like your uh, error four zero four. You know, the four zero four error page. You can you know change that so to your ad content. So the provider is what we did previously uh, use this page to configure how website data such as membership is stored um, we're gonna talk about this is an advanced feature so let's go back to the security where we have the uh, our users so instead of coming here to create users or manage users um, we can just use the um, the web page to allow us, us users to create themselves so I'm I'm on the register.aspx page now inside the content place order I, can, I have to drag in the create user wizard so the create user wizard is what the user will use to create themselves just like I told you Microsoft has made our life so easy so you see everything has been done for us so now if I run the uh, register page I can actually uh, create another user uh, here and it's going to be added to the back end uh, or yeah to the to our user database so let's do that username 2 and the password just like I said to you must be combination of letters numbers and a special character don't forget that but I will also teach you how to modify that from the web.com config file so you can just allow people to use the normal uh, password and you can also check uh, the uh, uh, email email to uh, you can also modify the characters that you require maybe you require only 10 characters for the uh, password or just five will do or maybe three will do you know it's up to you so it's a correct question what's your fave color color uh, and the hand size blue I don't really know what my favorite color is anyway so let's create this user you see uh, it's complete your account has been created now I did not uh, modify the continue button you see this continue button is up to you to decide where you want users to be directed to as soon as they create themselves usually it makes sense to direct them to the login page isn't it when they register you create the account then you say continue to login so let's do that now so uh, if you select this uh, control if you select it which has been selected a create user wizard one and um, the continue button style no this is not this we don't want this that we want uh, layout data behaviors and uh, let's see uh, appearance we don't want the appearance uh, okay the behaviors continue destination page URL can you see that it's self-explanatory isn't it continue destination page URL will be login the SPX right so that's why I think it's ideal so okay so now let's try that again let's so that we so that we make sure that it works because you know <coughs> let's create a new user username 3 
free password is whatever you want it to be but it must be long enough it must have numbers <laughs> I've repeated that enough now isn't it yeah that can be quite boring email free at website.com so question security question is um what's your favorite car and it's uh, Chrysler 300 cc beautiful beautiful car let's create user it's created continue you see now it takes us to the long page so now let's use that to log in username 3 and password is this which I don't want to tell you login remember yes now we logged in even though I need to configure will whenever we log in where we actually log into as well which I haven't done so which I'm going to do so now now that it's working let's go back to our backhand the website configuration sp.net configuration and see how the you see we now we have three users because it's been added to this so let's see manage users we can see all our users username one username two username three we can delete and we can edit their roles so that's beautiful isn't it how long does it take to create this kind of website you can create a full-blown membership website with database with in one day because all this video I'm doing is I've only spent one day on them so I'm sure you get a point anyway so I'm gonna be back to go further on this thank you